Welcome to Howard Tutorials. Again, I am Dion Pousel, founder of Money School. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Supernum in NinjaTrader, a tool that you can utilize to analyze your trades and improve your performance. We're going to cover the basics of Supernum, from installation to calibrating it for the best results to using it with your charts. To open a new Superdome window, select New in Superdome from the NinjaTrader Control Center. You may see a few options here. If so, both windows will provide all the functionality I'll be discussing in this video. It's important to first select the instrument within the Superdome. Use the instrument dropdown or lookup window to add a trading instrument. Although the E-mini asset P500 or ES from the pre-configured futures instrument list. Now you can see data flowing into my Superdome. Next, it's important to understand the columns of the Superdome. This layout is referred to as a price ladder. Each rung of the ladder is one tick in price for a specified instrument. You see the price is listed in the middle column, and some numbers want both the buy and sell columns. Those numbers are referred to as market depth. Market depth represents the number of contracts waiting to be traded on either side of the market. So you can see where there's significant buy and we're selling pressure by looking at these numbers. Additionally, the buy and sell columns of the price ladder function is order entry button. I'll cover this in detail in a moment. There are two buttons located at the bottom of the Superdome that say market. These buttons allow you to place buy or sell market orders. If I click the button from the buy column, I've submitted a buy market order. I can then click the close button to close out of this position at market price, as well as cancel any pending orders. When I click close, you can see I've exited the market. There is also a quantity option I can use if I'd like to increase the number of contracts I'd like to trade. I can either type here, use the quantity pad or arrows to control quantity. Now I'll show you how to use the buy and sell columns to submit orders at specific price points with the Superdome. You can place limit orders by left clicking in the buy or sell column. If I left click in the buy column below the market, you can see I've placed a limit order. I can also do this quickly on the sell side above the market. If I'd like to play stop orders, I can do so with my middle mouse button. Middle mouse clicking above the market on the buy side or below the market on the sell side will submit a stock limit order. If I'd like to use a stop market order rather than a stop limit order, I'll simply hold the control key on my keyboard while middle mouse clicking. So for limit orders, you'll use a left mouse click. For stock limit orders, middle mouse click and for stock market orders, hold the control key and use the middle mouse click. Additionally, you can submit a market if touch order by holding the control key and left mouse clicking. Some traders prefer to use market if touch orders rather than limit orders at times. Okay, now you have learned about how to open and use Superdome and NinjaTrader. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and click the red subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell to be notified for more videos. See you in the next episode.